Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm going to be showing you a quick cool tip called uh, Remix, which is actually an Adobe Audition, but I'm going to show you how to do it from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition and how that whole kind of thing works. So, um, this mainly works great for like interviews, so I do like a lot of corporate video, so for instance, here's an interview, blah blah blah, so B-roll, cool stuff. Hopefully that's not too loud, you know, I'm actually going to mute it for now. So... <clears throat> Again, we have, you know, this whole interview here. She's talking. So it's great when you find, like, an awesome piece of music, but then you're like, wait a minute. My interview is, you know, eight minutes long, but my piece of music is, what is it, like two minutes. Before, um, you know, you'd have to, you know, be somewhat musically inclined. You know, you go through, you find beats, you know, beat markers, whether it's the beginning of a measure, but then you have to make sure that it's not, you know, a bridge part. It, it's a whole mess. It Except now we have Adobe Remix, which is in Ado um, Audition, and that can do it for us. So I'm going to kind of show you guys the quick trip from Premiere to Audition and back, how I do that, and how that works. So we have our video here that has our timeline with all of our interview. Let's say I have match levels, blah, 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 this and that. Now this goes for anything. This isn't just for Remix. You can send anything over to Audition this way. So I want to stretch this music out. So I'm going to go up to make sure my the sequence that I want is on is selected. I'm going to go to Sequence. Or, excuse me, edit, sorry, not sequence. <laughs> edit in Adobe Audition, and then sequence. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that render audio clips, um, send clip volume, uh, keyframe metadata. That way, in case we did stuff in here, it'll transfer over. Open Audition, obviously. Um, audio handles, I'm not an audio guy. I don't really know what that means, but I just keep the same. Send through dynamic link, entire sequence. I can save where I want this, but I'm going to do this right here because it's where I want it to. Click OK, and then your computer is going to do some stuff. It's going to, you know, prepare everything. Now, the great thing is, again, this goes for any transition from Adobe Premiere to Audition. So whether it's a short film and you want to mix it and you want to master it and put EQ and things like that, it all works exactly the same. Um, all right, so cool. So we have our little video down here. So we have our music right here. So I'm going to stretch this timeline by scrolling. So we have our music down here. Now let's say we went through, we did our mix, we like what we hear, but I'm like, all right, this needs to be this long. Now there's two different ways I can do this. If this was the entire video, or the better way that I like to do it, is you go in and you actually can stretch this to where you want it to, and it'll remix to that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go onto this clip, that's the audio, I'm gonna right click, go down to remix, and enable remix. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna analyze the clip. It's gonna find those beat markers for you. It's gonna find out, you know, uh, where the where the bridge is in music and where the music changes and it's gonna figure out a medium and how to stretch that All right, so now that it's enabled that we're gonna see over here in properties our menus popped up We're gonna say disable remix target duration remix duration stretch to exact duration or blah 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 So we can do this is all things you're honestly not gonna have to touch now What I like to do is you're gonna if you scroll up here to the clip and you see this little Remix thing come up when I go over it. I'm gonna drag it and pull and I'm gonna pull it all the way to the end here Boom now what it's gonna do is it's gonna apply that remix now if you can see there's these little breaks here So what this does is it realizes this is like your average verse like beat just you know constant which now we're gonna listen All right, sorry with that I had to go back and reopen it because it muted but so anyway Tip is don't mute your audio tracks anyway, so now that we see what we're going to do is I'm going to turn these way down just for a minute. That way you're not screaming in your ear. That side but of you the customization see people love. Now, if I bring this audio up, we can see beat two, one, two, three, four. So we can see it's just going to keep going. And we can go down here and we can skip ahead. Whoops. And you will see a little bit, your computer will slow down a little bit because it's a lot of processing this is doing. So here you go, just restarting. So over and over. So let's say um, I just click con uh, Control S to save here. I want to save it there. So <clears throat> I saved it. And what I can do now is, so let's say I go and I do my mix. Like I said, we stretch it out. It tells you all the little features that we don't really need to know about over there. So let's say this is all good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, go to, I'm trying to think, edit, or no, excuse me, file, export. And you're going to go export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what this is going to do is it's going to ask you export each track as a stem. You can mix it down. I prefer to export each track as a stem. Uh, again, you can put that wherever you want. So we're going to click export. Now what it's going to do is it's going to bring that back into Premiere. And you're going to see it immediately. As long as you didn't close out Premiere, um, 
I keep it open. Now I can do a new audio track. I can do it as separate ones. I can do new audio track, click OK, and boom. Now down below, I have put in both my audio tracks. So what I can do is I can mute these and then go ahead and do that. So once you mute the video tracks, these two bottom ones here are now your audio tracks with your combined audio. It does make all each track one separate clip, but at least they're still separated. So if you want to change the volume afterwards, you can do so. But otherwise, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just like that. And that's Adobe uh, Remix and Audition and Trip from Premiere to Audition.